हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू मेमो नीट आई एम सक्ति स्वरूप टीचर एट मेमो नीट आई एम एम बी बी एस स्टूडेंट फ्रॉम वन ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट मेडिकल कॉलेज ऑफ ओडिशा लेट स्टार्ट विथ आवर फिजिक्स फर्स्ट चैप्टर दैट इज बेसिक मैथमेटिक्स एंड वी नो दैट बेसिक मैथमेटिक्स इज यूज इन एवरी सिंगल सॉर्ट ऑफ चैप्टर ओके सो लेट स्टार्ट इट विथ ट्रिगोनोमेट्री फर्स्ट वेन वी वॉन्ट टू कन्वर्ट डिग्री इन टू रेडियन वी हैव टू Uh, do that is degree into pi upon 180. Let's say example we have 60 degree and we have to convert it into radian. So this is multiplied with pi upon 180 degree that is equals to pi upon 3 radian. Okay. Likewise, if we want to convert radian to degree, let's say example we have pi upon 6 radian. If we want to convert into degree. so we have to multiply with 180 upon pi so this is equals to pi upon 6 into 180 degree upon pi so this is equals to 30 degree okay so to now the trigonometry ratios okay so this is our let's say this is a right angle triangle okay and it is a b c where ab is the perpendicular perpendicular sorry it is ab is perpendicular then bc is base and ac is hypotenuse hypotenuse okay so sin theta is equals to perpendicular upon hypotenuse it means ab upon ac okay and cos theta is equals to base upon hypotenuse it means bc upon ac and tan theta is equals to perpendicular upon base that is ab upon bc okay we know that sin theta sin theta is equals to 1 upon cosec theta okay so the value of cosec theta will be just reciprocal of this it means ac upon ab okay likewise cos theta is equals to cos theta is equals to 1 upon sec theta so the value of sec theta will be reciprocal of the cos theta that is ac upon bc and cot theta is equals to 1 upon tan theta okay so cot theta will be reciprocal of the tan theta that is equals to bc upon ab the sign in sign of the trigonometry ratios in all the quadrants okay so here it is for i have developed a trick here it is for all the trigonometry ratios it is for school it means sign sign and its reciprocal what is cosine okay and t for all school two colors okay t for tan and its reciprocal that is cot okay and this uh, colles that is cos and sec okay so th in these quadrants they are positive here in the first quadrant all the trigonometry ratios are positive in the second quadrant sin and cosine in the third tan and cot and in the fourth cos and sec okay of sin theta when theta is equals to 0 is 0 when theta is equals to 30 degree is 1 by 2 45 when theta is 45 it is 1 upon root 2 when theta is 60 degree it is root 3 upon 2 when theta is 90 degree it is 1 here 1 is the maximum value okay but the minimum value is it not it is not zero the minimum value will have minimum value of sin theta is equals to minus of 1 okay likewise the cos 0 is equals to 1 and cos 30 is under root 3 by 2 then cos 45 is 1 upon root 2 cos 60 is 1 by 2 and cos 90 is 0 it is just opposite of sin here in the sin we are going in increasing way and in the cos we are going in decreasing way okay 
सो टेन थीटा इज इक्वल टू टेन थीटा इज इक्वल टू साइन थीटा अपॉन कॉस थीटा ओके लेट से वी हैव साइन जीरो इज जीरो एंड कॉस जीरो इज वन सो टेन कॉस टेन जीरो यू विल बी साइन अपॉन कॉस इट मीन्स जीरो ओके बिकॉज लेट से वी हैव टेन थर्टी डिग्री ओके इट मीन्स साइन थर्टी इज वन अपॉन टू एंड कॉस थर्टी इज रूट थ्री अपॉन टू सो वी हैव वन अपॉन रूट थ्री इज द टेन थीटा और वी कैन मेमोराइज इट टेन जीरो इज जीरो टेन थर्टी इज वन अपॉन रूट थ्री टेन फोर्टी फाइव इज वन टेन सिक्सटी इज रूट थ्री एंड टेन नाइनटी इज नॉट डिफाइंड बिकॉज द डिनोमिनेटर दैट इज कॉस नाइनटी इज जीरो एनीथिंग इन द डिनोमिनेटर विल बी नॉट डिफाइंड ओके सो कॉसेक इज जस्ट रेसिप्रोकल ऑफ साइन थीटा एंड सेक थीटा इज जस्ट रेसिप्रोकल ऑफ कॉस थीटा कॉस थीटा एंड कॉट थीटा इज द रेसिप्रोकल ऑफ द टेन थीटा ओके वी हैव साइन नाइंटी प्लस थीटा ओके साइन नाइंटी प्लस थीटा एंड थीटा विल बी लेस देन नाइंटी डिग्री सो इट इज इट विल बी इन पीच क्वार इट इज विल बी इन सेकेंड क्वार सो सेकेंड क्वार मस्ट बी पॉजिटिव सो पॉजिटिव वी हैव टेकन ओके और साइन नाइंटी प्लस थीटा देन द फंक्शन विल चेंज ओके इट विल बी कॉस थीटा इफ यू विल राइट साइन वन ट्वेंटी डिग्री ओके सो हाउ कैन वी राइट राइट इट दैट इज साइन नाइंटी डिग्री प्लस थर्टी डिग्री ओके सो दिस इज इक्वल्स टू कॉस दिस इज इक्वल्स टू कॉस थर्टी डिग्री दैट इज कॉस थर्टी वैल्यू इज अंडर रूट थ्री अपॉन टू ओके सो लाइक वाइज वी कैन ऑल्सो डू साइन वन फिफ्टी डिग्री ओके लेट से वी हैव साइन पाई और साइन वन एट्टी डिग्री माइनस थीटा साइन वन एट्टी माइनस थीटा इज इक्वल्स टू साइन थीटा ओके लेट से वी हैव कॉस थीटा कॉस नाइंटी प्लस थीटा ओके दिस इज इन सेकेंड क्वार एंड द वैल्यू ऑफ कॉस इन द सेकेंड क्वार इज नेगेटिव सो वी कैन राइट द इफ इट इज यर नाइंटी डिग्री द फंक्शन विल चेंज सो वी कैन राइट माइनस ऑफ साइन थीटा एंड कॉस वन एटी डिग्री माइनस थीटा इज इक्वल्स टू कॉस वन एटी माइनस थीटा इट मीन्स इट इट बी इन द सेकेंड क्वार एंड द वैल्यू ऑफ कॉस इन सेकेंड क्वार इट्स इन नेगेटिव माइनस ऑफ कॉस थीटा सो बेसिकली वेन वी आर टेलिंग दैट वी हैव नाइंटी डिग्री हियर द फंक्शन विल चेंज एंड वेन इट विल हैव वन एटी डिग्री द फंक्शन विल नॉट चेंज सिमिलरली वेन वी हैव टू सेवेंटी डिग्री साइन टू सेवेंटी डिग्री प्लस थीटा ओके सो दिस विल बी इन इट इज इट विल बी इन विच क्वार इट विल बी इन फोर्थ क्वार फोर्थ क्वार कॉस इज पॉजिटिव सो वी कैन राइट कॉस थीटा ओके इट विल बी इन पॉजिटिव एंड वेन वी विल राइट साइन थ्री सिक्सटी डिग्री माइनस ऑफ थीटा इज इक्वल्स टू ओके दिस विल बी इन विच क्वार थ्री सिक्सटी इट मीन्स वी आर इफ दिस इज आवर कोर्डिनेट प्लेन वी आर मूविंग थ्री सिक्सटी डिग्री ओके एंड वी आर लेटर ऑन कमिंग बैकवर्ड्स ओके इट मीन्स माइनस ऑफ थीटा सो द एंगल विल राय इन समवर्ट हियर पोजिशन सो दिस विल बी इन फोर्थ क्वार सो फोर्थ क्वार बट हियर द फंक्शन विल बी नॉट चेंज एंड इन द फोर्थ क्वार द कॉस वैल्यू साइन वैल्यू इज नेगेटिव ओके माइनस साइन थीटा ओके सो हियर ऑल्सो इट विल बी नेगेटिव एज इट इज द फंक्शन इज साइन साइन द वैल्यू ऑफ साइन इन द फोर्थ क्वार इज नेगेटिव ओके नेट जोमेट्री हियर वी हैव टू पॉइंट इन द इन अवर कोर्डिनेट प्लेन दैट इज एक्स टू वाई टू दिस पॉइंट नेम इज एक्स टू वाई टू एंड दिस पॉइंट नेम इज एक्स वन वाई वन ओके सो वी इफ यू वॉन्ट टू फाइंड आउट द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन द पॉइंट डिस्टेंस इज इक्वल्स टू एक्स टू माइनस एक्स वन स्क्वेर प्लस वाई टू माइनस वाई वन स्क्वेर अंडर रूट ओके सो दिस इज हाउ वी विल कैलकुलेट आवर डिस्टेंस so let's say if we join this if we join these two points okay 
so here it will subtend an angle subtend some angle this will be angle theta okay so if we want to find out the value of slope or the angle subtended that is tan tan theta or slope is equals to y2 minus of upon x2 minus of x1 or we can write del y upon del x differentiation differentiation is a method to use to compute the rate of change of function f of x with respect to its input x this rate of change is known as derivative of f with respect to x okay so this means let's say we have here a plane coordinate plane and here is our let's say this is a function which is f of x okay so we can uh, interpret the value of f of x uh, arbitrarily okay so we have to cut it into n number of pieces so that we can analyze it let's say we will cut here let's say this we will study at this point of uh, the graph then we will study at this point so that we can interpret the value of graph at different situation okay so basically we uh, the differentiation means that to cut to cut or to find out the change in function very minutely okay we will know the theorems of differentiation first when we are differentiating the constant any constant then the value will be zero then second that is when you are differentiating that is c into u okay c is the constant u is the function so we will write c c will be in the uh, store c will be in the uh, coefficient and uh, that is uh, u is the function so we will differentiate u that is du upon dx okay then u y equals to v plus u so this will be du upon dx plus minus of dv upon dx plus minus of dw upon dx where u v w are of various various forms and we are differentiating with respect of x when y is equals to u into v okay so we are we will differentiate one by one first we will differentiate any of the one by keeping one of the one of the function constant let's say we are keeping here here u into v okay so here we are keeping u as a constant first so u into dv upon dx plus then we are keeping v as a constant then v into du upon dx this is chain rule okay then uh, y equals to u upon v we have dy upon dx is equals to v du upon dx minus u dv upon dx upon v square then y is equals to x to the power n where n is the real number then dy upon dx is equals to uh, n into x to the power n minus 1 okay so this will be applied in most of the formulas okay in most of the problems you will apply this this uh, theorem okay let's say we have y is equals to x cube so what we will write that is n into x to the power n minus 1 it means 3 will be coefficient into x to the power 3 minus 1 that is equals to 3x square okay let's say we have y is equals to x square plus 4 under root x we can write it as 4x to the power minus of 1 by 2 minus 3x to the power minus 2 so here dy upon dx is equals to 2x if we differentiate x square it will be 2x plus 4 the power will be as coefficient that is minus of 1 by 2 into x to the power minus 1 by 2 minus 1 that is minus 3 by 2 minus 3 the power will be coefficient that is minus of 2 okay this is 3 minus of 2 into x to the power minus 2 minus 1 minus 3 okay so our answer will be dy upon dx is equals to 2x plus minus sorry this is minus 1 by 2 this is minus 2 x all uh, to the power minus 3 by 2 plus 
x to the power minus 3 4 ok so this is our answer for this question formula for different co differential coefficients of trigonometry logarithmic and exponential form, uh, functions let's say we have uh, sin x if we differentiate it it will be cos x for cos x that is minus sin x tan x that is x square x cot x that is minus of cos x square x sec x that is uh, if we differentiate it it will be sec x into tan x for cosec x that is minus of cosec x cosec x into cot x then for the log x is equals to 1 upon x this is important okay log x is equals to 1 upon x and e to the power x is equals to e to the power x the value of uh, when we differentiate e to the power x it, it will be half same value let's say what we have uh, the question here y is equals to x square tan x so we will apply the chain rule first tan x will be uh, used as constant and x square will be as variable that is if we differentiate it to x tan x plus uh, then x square will be constant that is x square tan x will be variable what is the differentiation of tan x that is x square x x square x square x okay so this is our answer for this question y is equals to e to the power ln x e to the power x ln x first e to the power x will be constant let's say so e to the power x ln x for log x what will be the uh, differentiation that is 1 upon x into 1 upon x plus then ln x will be constant okay and e to the power x variable e to the power x the differentiation of e to the power x, x is e to the power x ln x okay so this is the answer for this question integration okay integration what do you mean by that uh, let's say we have small functions we have n number of small functions small functions and when we will uh, sum of them and try to make a bigger function so so that we can calculate it easily okay so that that process is known as integration what do you mean by integration integration means to sum up okay so integration is a method of adding or summing of the parts to find the whole it is reverse process of differentiation it is just opposite of differentiation what are the formulas here here x to the power n dx integration of x to the power n what will be uh, what will be the value that is x to the power n plus 1 upon n plus 1 plus c c is the constant here because as you know when we are differentiating the constant the value will be 0 when we are having nothing it means we, what we can write x to the power n dx plus 0 it means it can be 0 it can be any constant so for that reason we are uh, adding up plus c okay here sin x dx for the sin sin x uh, we have uh, we are if you integrate this this is minus of cos x plus c okay uh, the cos x when we are differentiating it what we are getting the answer that is minus of sin x but in integration it will be just opposite of that see, see here here when we we are differentiating the cos x that is minus of sin x when we will differentiate sin x sorry when we are integrating sin s then we are getting minus of cos x plus c okay then cos x dx that is uh, we have sin x plus c like the same twice when we are differentiating sin x we are getting cos x when we are integrating cos x we are getting sin x okay sin x plus c okay 1 upon x dx what is what will be the uh, differentiating value of log x log x is equals to 1 1 uh, 1 by x okay when we are differentiating log x we are we are getting 1 by 1 by x when we are integrating 1 by x we are uh, getting log x okay so e to the power x on integrating it will have the, have the same value but con uh, only the constant will be added here okay have the question here that is if we integrate that is x to the power minus 7 dx okay so that is equals to x to the power minus 7 plus 1 upon 7 minus 7 plus 1 why when we are integrating x to the power n dx uh, what we are getting that is x to the power n plus 1 upon n plus 1 plus c okay here plus c that will be equals to x to the power minus 6 upon 
minus six plus c. Okay. So let's look the second question here. Uh, it is integrating x square minus cos x plus one upon x dx. Okay. When we are we when we integrate it, x to the power two plus one upon two plus one minus minus of plus. Okay. Plus minus of cos x. Let let's let, let's see. Um, if we are integrating minus of cos x, we are getting sin x plus sin x. Okay. Plus one upon x. When we are integrating one upon x, we get log x. So plus c. So this is our answer for this question. Definite integrals. Definite integral. What do you mean by this? When we are integrating by uh, having the upper limit and lower limit. Okay. Let's say we have question here x square dx. If we are integrating only x square. Okay. So this will be x two plus x to the power two plus one upon two plus one plus c. Okay. So this will be equals to x cube by upon three plus c. But here the lower limit and upper limit is given here for the value x. It means from the x will vary from one to three. So this will be equals to upper limit minus lower limit. Okay. We will put in the in the place of x we will put three, and in the for the lower limit we will put one. So three to the power q upon three minus one to the power q upon three plus c. Okay. So this will be equals to three square. Here three square. It means nine minus one upon three plus c. So this will be our answer. Then g mm upon x square dx. We can write g mm into x to the power minus two dx integration from r to infinite. Okay. So we will have g mm will be common. Then x to the power minus two dx. From R to infinite, so this will be equals to g m m x to the power minus two integration will be x to the power minus two plus one upon minus two plus one. Okay, so this will be vary from vary from R to infinite. Okay, so we will have that is equals to g m m. X to the power minus one upon minus one from R to infinite. It means that is Z M M minus of one by X from R to infinite. So we will have Z M M when we put the upper value and the lower value. That is one upon R minus of one upon infinite as minus x is given. So we are just putting that is lower value will uh, will be positive. So one upon R minus one upon infinite. One upon infinite is zero. So our value will be g m m upon R. So this answer will be g m m upon R. Okay. Uh, we will uh, try to uh, find out the graphs here. Okay. Y equals to m x plus c, a standard graph that is y equals to m x plus c. Here c is the intercept, m is the slope, and this is the graph here. Okay, y equals to m x minus c. So c is the intercept, and c is the uh, c is in negative. It will have negative intercept. That is, this will be the graph. Y equals to m x. It means the uh, it will not have intercept, so it will pass from the origin. So this will be the graph. When y equals to minus m plus minus m x plus c, y equals to minus m x plus c. Okay. So this will be have negative slope. So this will be the graph. Okay. Parabola. In parabola we have standard that is y is directly proportional to the x square. So y is directly proportional to x square. This is the graph here. Okay. And if we put negative, the, the graph will be just opposite of that. Okay. And when we can we write that is x is directly proportional to y square, 
the graph will be this and when we put the negative sign the graph will change okay like this way we have hyperbola hyperbola that is x is inversely proportional to y the graph will be like this way when we have a uh, circle circle we know that our basic formula that is x square plus y square is equals to radius square okay so we have the graph here and in the ellipse we know that for ellipse we know that x square upon a square plus y square upon b square is equals to 1 here a and b what is semi major axis and semi minor axis this is semi major axis and this is semi minor axis okay so x square upon x square plus y square upon b square is equals to 1 this formula sorry this expression is for ellipse we will we'll have the graph here and for the exponential decay this is the type of graph that is y is equals to e to the power minus x graph okay the trigonometry function graph okay here we have the coordinate uh, plane here okay sin x will be the graph of sin x will be we know that sin 0 is 0 then sin 90 is 1 and but sin 45 is 1 upon root 2 here something 1 upon root 2 which is uh, less lesser than the 1 by 2 value okay so sorry which is greater than the 1 by 2 so it have the increasing slope here okay so here it will be pi by 2 or 90 degree then we know that sin 0 is 0 and sin 180 is also 0 sin 180 is 0 okay then sin 270 is minus of 1 sin 270 is minus of 1 here okay and then sin 360 is 0 so this will be the graph of sin x so here sin uh, minus of uh, minus of 90 it means sin 270 will be negative that is equals to minus 1 here it is equals to 1 okay it is pi it is 3 pi upon 2 it is 2 pi and here it is minus of pi by 2 it is minus of pi which will be 0 and then that is sorry this is minus of minus of this this is minus of 3 pi by 2 which is positive and minus of 2 pi which is 0 okay this is the sign graph then we have the cross graph here here the cos graph uh, we know that cos is the decreasing type then cos 0 is 1 and cos 90 is 0 then cos 180 is uh, minus 1 cos uh, 270 is 0 and cos 360 is uh, 1 okay here it is 2 pi here it is 3 pi by 2 here it is pi by 2 and here it is and it is 0 degree likewise like this wise in negative quadrant also okay so this is the sin x and cos x graph equations let's see the expression here a x square plus b x plus c here x1 is uh, we have minus of b plus under root of b square minus 4 a c upon 2 a and x2 will be minus of b plus under root of b square it is minus okay we have uh, the two roots over here that is minus b minus b square minus 4ac upon 2 here the x value suggests uh, both type okay both these roots okay so sum of the roots is minus upon minus b upon a and product of roots that is c upon a approximation we have 1 plus x to the power n is nearly equals to 1 plus nx let's say we have to calculate the value of uh, 0 0.99 under root so we can write 1 minus of 1 minus of 1 upon 100 okay whole into whole to the power minus of 
not minus equal to the power 1 by 2 equal to the power 1 by 2. So, on applying the binomial expression, what we will get? 1 minus 1 upon 1 by 2 into 1 upon 100. Okay. So, this will be equals to 1 minus 1 upon 200 that will be equals to 0 0.995. So, this is for the uh, well, this is the value of on the root of 0 0.99 logarithmic log logarithmic value here log a base a is equals to 1 log m n is equals to log m plus log n log m upon n is equals to log m minus of log n and log m to the power n is equals to n log m okay here the coefficient sorry the power will be coefficient here and log m base e is will be equals to 2.303 log m base 10 okay so this is the logarithmic value i hope you understood this uh, basic mathematics so let's bounce back to all the questions and try to attempt all the questions of need